Phillips. I'm the director of the La Quinta Museum, and we want to welcome you to our brand new exhibit that's opening today called Emerald Gems, The History of Golf in the Coachella Valley. Okay. And we are starting with golf that came to Palm Springs in the 1920s. Uh -huh. There were several nine hole golf courses there. Look at there. that, look at that terrain there. Looks a little rough. It's, it's a little rough and you'll enjoy the outfits and the pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, the first continuously operating golf course was the O'Donnell Golf Course in mm -hmm. Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. And that is still operating today. Mm -hmm. Then as we move further east, um, this still telling about the O'Donnell of mm -hmm. Palm Springs, we're going to come to Thunderbird Country Club. It was a dude ranch and they decided that it would be really fun to have an 18-hole golf course in the desert. So some developers came, worked with the Dude Ranch, and it was developed into a golf course. Mm -hmm. And a couple exciting things happened. It was the first golf course to have houses built around it. Ah. So they had to set the pattern. There wasn't something to go mm -hmm. to to mm -hmm. figure out how to do that. It is also where the golf cart was invented. Oh. And what happened, if you come a little further, you can actually see one of the early golf cars. And they called them cars, not carts, because they were self-propelled. There's President Eisenhower with uh -huh. his caddy. And you'll see this is a local La Quinta. Here's the resort. And everybody's in their golf cars fishing. <laughs> All right. As you move a little <clears throat> further along, you'll see some of the celebrities that come and play golf here in the desert. Mm -hmm. And our own La Quinta legendary golfer, Arnold Palmer, right, is here. Right. He helps introduce golf in La Quinta, and we have memorabilia from the different uh, country clubs here in La Quinta and golf courses. There's 20, Look at these flags. 22 of them, and we have flags from almost every golf course in La Quinta here uh -huh. on display. They were generous to send us ones for our, for our exhibit. I should say, yeah. So it, it adds a lot of color and it's fun for people to see their country club. There was a time when La Quinta was supposed to have the highest number of golf courses per capita of any city in the world. We'll have to check on that, Kate. Yeah. It may be still true. There's certainly it, 22 it, golf courses is a lot. For yeah, but when it was 22,000, that was a high high ratio. Anyway, yeah. that would, it would be nice to know if we we're still close that to that. Yeah, we should right. check it out. Yeah. And as we continue around, we borrowed memorabilia from the Humana Challenge, the Bob oh. Hope Classic. Mm -hmm. So we got to raid their archive, and we have some of the outfits that Bob himself wore. Look at those cute uh, pants there. Those yes. pants are quite exciting. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and some of the other things that were handed out during the different tournaments. Mm -hmm. Fun Bag items. Tags, yeah. all kinds of things mm -hmm. like that. And, and what do we have here in the middle? In the middle, we're seeing the back of, but maybe you can come around sure. and we'll look at the front of a display case that was installed by Sunny Lands. Mm -hmm. And this is the Annenberg's golf equipment and some of the things that they used on their course. The most important thing about the Annenberg's golf course is the presidents all played there. And they did entertain all the presidents, they? Didn't entertained they entertained yeah. all of them and, and lots of other famous folks as well. Mm -hmm. So we're delighted to show that off too. So tell us uh, how long the exhibit is running and uh, what kind of adjunct activities are you having? The exhibit's going to be up through May 4th, so mm -hmm. there's plenty of time to come see it. Mm -hmm. We are going to do a special program on the 31st of January this month. And that will include Andy and Judy Vossler, who are well known well for known. their connection with mm -hmm. golf in La Quinta. They are coming, bringing some of their friends and talking all about developing golf here in La Quinta and some very fun stories mm -hmm. about the legendary golfers who have come here. So that should be humorous and yeah. fun yeah. And, and a good time. Yeah. Are any of the children's activities? Uh, oh, like what you don't have filmed yet is our putting green out in the courtyard. Oh my goodness. And we do have uh, a putting green. And everybody can grab a putter and some balls and try okay. their hand and, and their skill to okay. see if they can get their Wonderful. hole in one. Tell us once again what the hours of the museum are. The hours of the museum are Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 4. Wonderful. 
Well, it looks like you're off to a good start here. It looks like a wonderful exhibit, and uh, I'm sure that we will all get in line to You will. Take a look now at you it. should come join me in the 19th hole oh, for what is Arnold the 19th? Palmer. Oh, my goodness. Here's our 19th hole. Oh. And does everybody know what an Arnold Palmer is? Well, Probably everybody just, in the desert does. Well, but why don't you just tell us again? Half lemonade and half iced tea. And it was a drink that Arnold liked to make at home, and then he was somewhere in Palm Springs and asked for one, and the idea took off. Okay, and so this is the, so uh, this in, looks like a bar. It is a bar. It's our 19th hole. You should okay. come in. excuse us. Come in and I'll, uh, here's, here's an Arnold Palmer, and you're welcome to a drink. Oh, my goodness. And what are these uh, trophies? Those are from the mayor. Uh, Mayor Don Adolf uh -huh. brought those to us oh, nice. for our All right. show. So Wonderful. Yeah. Great. Thanks well, it's a great everybody. exhibit, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm sure a lot of people will come by. Good. Thanks, Thanks. a lot, Anne. Thanks, Kate.